Thank you so much. Uh, we will call all the participants later. Now I'd like uh, to uh, uh, call upon presenters for Al Mawen or Mawen. Good afternoon. My name is Haytham Darwish. I'm a civil engineer working in construction uh, for over 12 uh, years. I work as an independent contractor, among other uh, positions. And uh, throughout my experience, I found that uh, we uh, depend on engineers, but not on uh, technology. Two weeks after I got my first uh, job, they assigned uh, me uh, to supervise the cast of uh, cement. And uh, I had to stay uh, overnight after the official working hours. And from uh, this day on, I learned not to trust my manager. Uh, so, first I want uh, to have a map for the uh, market. We spend more than 85 million on uh, building residential uh, units. Uh, 14 billion AGP uh, are spent for ready mix concrete. And we have 700 cement uh, stations, and this increases on an uh, annual basis. Despite the size of the uh, market, we have challenges facing stations and the residential uh, buildings. The first thing to know is that the contractors might not find suitable uh, time, and this delays the uh, whole process so maybe a contractor will need 20 times to cast a cement given the delay that would take much much uh, more time also the uh, ever increasing uh, prices constitute a challenge and you know you have different capacities of the station some stations work 24 7 while uh, others have fixed working uh, hours and this depends on the capacity of the station the uh, location uh, the mileage take into consideration the fuel uh, prices also the timing uh, differs if you want to cast this cement at the rush hour that would affect the price also the contractors cannot uh, decide on uh, everything he is in the desert or at the site waiting for the salmon to uh, arrive lacking uh, the pieces of uh, data he needs and uh, this imposes a number of burdens. On the other hand, stations face different problems. Some stations work with only 50 or 60 percent of their uh, capacity. We can find stations that used to uh, produce 50,000 uh, uh, tons are now producing 15,000 tons. Also, we have many cancelled uh, orders due to the absenteeism uh, rate or the first major, uh, like the weather uh, conditions. So the high uh, rate of cancelled orders uh, orders affects the station uh, capacity or productivity. The third problem is that station cannot optimize the transportation process. They are not aware of the number of uh, uh, vehicles due to uh, the load, uh, the distance, among other factors. So you just uh, estimate it very uh, roughly and this leaves room for uh, errors. And they always tend to send less uh, cars to avoid uh, cost. Maybe there are more cars, but they send a limited number of cars. And what does Ilma Wen do? 
Ilmawen brings or connects contractors, project managers, and construction fields. They can uh, order, uh, book, pay, and uh, follow up on uh, delivering uh, the cement. Suppliers can um, define the available resources, the number of cars, the specifications of the pumps, and on the other hand, the contractor can place an order, identify the location of the uh, project, order the uh, specs, choose the supplier, they choose based on the pricing um, available and the location the efficiency of the said uh, location because we calculate uh, everything and at the end of the day uh, he can track the uh, cement from the uh, station to the site and any emergencies will be recorded and uh, notified and of course, at the end of the day, the contractor can rate the supplier or the station in order for the contractors to be able to make informed decisions in the future. We are reducing 10 to 15 percent of the concrete works time schedule because the contractor can choose the timing. So they have a view of all the available stations nearby. Also, information transparency is ensured for all the parties because, as you know, prices uh, change every uh, two weeks according to many uh, factors. Also, uh, there is an optimization of delivery process in terms of uh, time and uh, cost. We can uh, also recycle uh, the waste to other stations. And this is, of course, reduces the consumption of the cement by 3%. How do we make uh, profits? Uh, we take a percentage of the price per uh, meter of the cement and we offer incentives for uh, procurement uh, managers around 25 percent we started in the 6th of october uh, two weeks ago and we want to cover greater uh, cairo 6th of october fifth settlement new administrative uh, capital shuru all in the first year and then we want to move to south canal uh, alameen north coast and we hope to cover egypt in the third year my partner is Mohammed uh, Moussa and he has 15 years experience uh, in uh, sales and uh, marketing. And Marker is the IT developer. Mohammed Aidil used uh, to be the procurement uh, uh, manager. He uh, contracts with the uh, stations and follows up on any problems. Mohammed is our accountant. We want to work with 50 stations and 150 contractors to supply for 80 projects to sell 170,000 cubic uh, meters. Uh, so we want uh, to make 120 million uh, EGP to reach an income of 600,000 EGP to accomplish 23% uh, percent as a return on investment. We also want to, to uh, sell some uh, buy uh, products. We want uh, to be the most important uh, construction shopping uh, destination offering uh, logistical and financial services uh, for contractors. Uh, this is the uh, website that was uh, launched uh, two weeks ago and we signed contracts with the five uh, stations in our uh, first uh, order 
because you will start the sales uh, after one month and we observed an advantage that uh, during the transportation process many phone calls were made to follow up on the uh, vehicles between the contractor and the uh, supplier in the uh, station and the consultant uh, or the engineer following up uh, on casting uh, the or molding the cement. So the number of phone uh, calls are reduced by 25%. Uh, so we are reducing f the number from 40 phone calls to uh, five phone calls while casting uh, 100 uh, meters of cement. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and I'd like to congratulate you on the great work you've been uh, doing and I would like to uh, call uh, upon the team of Biodiesel Misr. I know that we are at the end of our day and I'm the last presenter. I try to keep it short. Thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Abla, and uh, thank you, Dr. Khaled, uh, Mr. Ziyad, and all the esteemed uh, panelists. Uh, Mawen uh, is a, a very uh, good idea and now moving to Biodiesel Masr and before delving into details today was such an eventful and fruitful uh, day. Uh, we referred earlier to the stereotype uh, of businessmen and uh, entrepreneurs uh, sometimes these people are called the people who do the dirty work uh, but for me I always imagine someone wearing a helmet and eating some desserts that's the way I imagine uh, entrepreneurs and I'm very happy that we organized this event to celebrate entrepreneurship and shed the light on the importance uh, of uh, moving uh, from uh, bottom uh, to up you all know uh, diesel, the petroleum uh, fuel to help run uh, cars and it's uh, the best for transportation, for electricity generation. Uh, Biodiesel wants to produce biodiesel from renewable uh, sources in the early uh, 90s uh, the buzzword was uh, globalization internet and emails now uh, there is a new uh, word which is sustainability and sustainability within the scope of startups is really uh, critical and crucial because you want to ensure that there is a human and social aspect of your business so we uh, convert uh, used oils into uh, biodiesel that is better than the petrol uh, diesel whether used in transportation or running vehicles before talking about uh, BDM, we in Egypt uh, spend a lot of uh, fuel. We consume much and there is an urgent need to uh, produce or to care for the energy uh, sector and we do not have enough renewable energy uh, sector and we should take into consideration the ever-growing uh, population coupled with the health uh, issues like the spread of respiratory and uh, cancer diseases even worse um, and regardless of the uh, political uh, issues involved in the uh, petroleum sector, uh, we have much waste coming from the cooking uh, or the used cooking uh, oil used in a, a very harmful way. 
That's why we want to uh, make sure that <laughs> as long as we eat, we will use cooking oil and then we will convert this cooking oil into biofuel. Uh, Biodiesel is the same as uh, petrol diesel. When, when diesel was first invented in the uh, 90s, they, they started with the peanut oil. But uh, then people advised the inventor to use the uh, commercial oil. Biodiesel has many advantages. It reduces the uh, green gas effects. And it's produced from renewable energy uh, sources. But we can say that 85% uh, of the uh, green gas uh, emissions comes uh, from petrol diesel. And in Egypt, we do not have the luxury of thinking of climate change, but this has uh, real uh, reflections, whether when it comes to the weather uh, conditions or to the agriculture uh, productivity. And uh, the government took a bold uh, decision to use uh, lead uh, free or sul lead free and sulfur free uh, material because this is uh, poisons for human beings and for the environment. That's why EU has a mandate along with the International Maritime uh, Organization that we render certain uh, zones uh, prohibited for commercial uh, uh, vehicles or ships to pass by. So in 2013, it was really hard to found uh, a company to produce uh, a product seven uh, times more than the uh, product available in the uh, market. You can buy uh, this uh, petrol for one pound, but we will offer it for 10 pounds. And of course, everyone will rush to get the cheap product. Um, but we saw that uh, because of the globalization, the whole world become a global uh, village. So we started uh, the start up in this very tough uh, condition and we faced many uh, problems going to uh, GAFI or to General Authority for uh, Investment. But we uh, started and we considered that biofuel offers Egypt many opportunities because we need uh, sources for the feedstock and this is available. We uh, consume 20 uh, million vegetable or cooking uh, oil. So 30 or 35 uh, percent of this uh, amount is used cooking oil. And how do we get rid of this amount? If you have 20 million tons generating 30 uh, percent as waste, you have three ways maybe uh, merchants working in used oils who go to collect uh, the oil to produce soaps and detergents or you can dump it in the drains or you can use it as feed for animals and you know the soap industry is well established in Egypt but with the ever increasing prices we discovered that you shouldn't eat any fried food outside uh, your home because 70% of the used oil is being reused. This 
oil will be reprocessed and that's why there is a high prevalence of cancer or respiratory systems like influenza. Uh, when it comes to the second method, this used oil can be dumped in the drains and for each one ton uh, oil cost the uh, state 1,000 uh, times 30 million. Can you imagine the, the number? And this is not a luxury. It's different than heavy uh, metals. We need to do uh, so in order to maintain the productivity of the pumps and the drains. In 2013, the EU set a mandate to produce biodiesel in order to uh, reduce the greenhouse uh, emissions and in order to rely uh, less uh, on uh, oil and uh, petrol. The team comprises four uh, people, Mu'taz Alewa and uh, Mohammed and Ismail. So four people doing everything. Uh, and now we are 44 full-time employees and we have more than uh, 1500 free lancers we collect uh, used oil all over Egypt and this is the business uh, performance uh, we uh, sold 300 uh, tons uh, for 2.2 million EGP in 2016. We sold 606 tons for 6.6 uh, 6 million. And in 2017, we made 32 million. And in the next year, we want to make 40 million Egyptian pounds. Numbers is uh, not the most important uh, thing, but like Argentina and Brazil, uh, did uh, biodiesel or biofuel was their way uh, out. You shouldn't waste all your foreign reserve on the energy sector. I think processing and recycling waste would be more than uh, enough and biodiesel or biofuel sector in the Middle East offers much to do now. We are the biggest uh, producer of biofuel. We even are ahead of uh, Israel. Uh, Egypt has uh, many sources of uh, sewage water that is not valid for human consumption anymore. We have all the resources. You just need uh, clear-cut legislations in order for Egypt to be a hub for biofuel, uh, for biofuel in the Middle East, and this is part of our aspirations. We wanted uh, Egypt to make the same uh, leap other countries uh, did. We are very happy that we have an eye on Africa. And during my experience, I traveled uh, to Africa. I know uh, Djibouti, Karwa, uh, Dakar, Guinea. I went to many uh, countries in Africa. I understand the needs of the continent. And all the panelists uh, discussed uh, that. Of course, uh, as the panelists uh, said, Africa is not one big uh, country. And we were uh, there in many of the African uh, conferences to produce this uh, biodiesel. But uh, because many forces want to control the area of the African uh, horn, and 99% of our products are exported to the EU and some Arab uh, countries. And there is a high uh, demand on the product we produce. That's why we need to usher into Africa. We need to export to Africa because uh, Africa is really expensive compared to Europe, Switzerland, and other uh, countries. That's why we have uh, much potential there. More importantly, we can collect
extract uh, 2.5 million tons of uh, cooking oil, representing uh, 40% uh, percent of the uh, needs of uh, South Europe. They need 14.1 uh, million tons of biodiesel. So Egypt has much potential, and I'm not uh, here uh, referring or bragging about my own company. I'm explaining uh, Egypt's chance to be a pioneer in this sector when it comes to waste uh, recycling. We are dealing with waste to energy. You are preserving the infrastructure, the public uh, uh, health you're exporting, bringing the country uh, hard currencies. So it's everything we uh, need. And of course, it's. Uh, I don't want to paint uh, a rose-tinted picture. Uh, whenever uh, I'm approached to participate in a conference, I feel that it's time for work and not for uh, talks. We want all the incubators and accelerators to care for work more than the talks. We want to transform all the waste into energy. We can do uh, everything we want. Moving now to the action plan in order to increase the capacity to collect the cooking um, oil. We want to collect as much waste as possible. All the merchants working in the black market to reprocess the used uh, oil find it now better to work with us. And we founded some start uh, ups and we helped them uh, develop uh, and uh, evolve with our support and we offer them better uh, prices. For the people living in the 6th of October district, we launched a new project, Z2. And Z2 uh, is a cartoon because we want to attract uh, children. We collect the uh, cooking uh, oil, 30% less than the price of new cooking oil. And we, we now know that everything is expensive. So people would rather save even one pound and the Ministry of Supply and Internal uh, Trade. So we launched this service for the people living in the 6th of October. Please uh, call us to come and collect your used uh, cooking oil. Thank you so much.